CJ Days Art is essentially a rental facility. Um, if you would like to produce a play, there's a play that you've always wanted to do, but you've never had, except for maybe your own backyard, a place to do it, you can call me up and you can ask me, do I have room in the calendar a couple of weekends together where we could produce a play? It is a wonderful avenue for producing your own art, and you just don't find that other places. It's really a, an art center for the common, everyday person who just wants to do something. That also works for somebody who wants to have a poetry night, someone who wants to have a CD release party, somebody who wants to show a film. As long as you have rights to show that film, I, I, my studio is available and I have all the equipment to do it. Plus, I, I believe that we're fostering the young artists um, with our classes that we have in music and dance and acting. And also for adults who just maybe are retired and, and you did a, a high school play and you were good at it and you liked it and you'd like to, to pick that up again or you like to do costumes or makeup or hair for a show. It, 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 I, I like to think that we fulfill people's dreams that they have a performance art. Just a week ago, I was gonna help hold the camp somewhere else. And with my connection with uh, Jim Phillips and Christy Lichty, we discussed a lot of common interests and the facility was available and a couple of uh, a couple of iced teas later, I was uh, offered to have the camp here. It's a good fit for me, and I knew for the children they would receive that, I believe. Fine. Uh, I'll, I'll just do it right, okay? Stop judging me. <laughs> My favorite part is improvisation with uh, Mr. Jim. I've just met him, but he's a really cool guy. And another thing that I really like here is we're doing a, uh, a small concert tomorrow and I'm mostly a piano player so I'll be doing a lot in that. I love working with kids. It always challenges me and um, I really find that I learn so much more. I learn a lot by teaching. It's very inspirational as a teacher to see your students come to light. This is something that they definitely look forward to and you could feel uh, as the day builds in excitement that when the featured guest comes in the afternoon and when the t-shirt signings happening they're coming off the high of the engagement with the artist hearing uh, what they do and then the t-shirt signing and maybe that additional question they had for them it's really exciting for them. Today right Eric Lee is pretty talented does a uh, fiddle violin told us about how he got into music and we do that with all the guest stars that come. Yesterday we had uh, Eric Bolivar drum player. I've actually been really lucky. I've been able to work with Sate in a lot of different ways. Um, I've worked uh, with them, uh, you know, in stuff like this with the Performing Arts Camp, group art shows. Um, they've provided a space for us to do student recitals and I've had the opportunity to show some of my uh, students visual art uh, finished products too so it's pretty dynamic that so many different forms of art can come together in one space. Honestly I had no idea what I was coming into on my first day but I'm glad I signed up for it. The other camps that we do are um, they're gonna put you in the movies that's all of July, every week, and you don't have to sign up for the whole month. You can sign up for a week at a time for your child, ages 7 through 17. And once again, they're making a film, and it's all aspects of filmmaking. So you're talking about acting, directing, storyboarding, um, filming, lights, uh, camera, and, and uh, the sound. So it's a little bit of everything. And I think the great thing, once again, is to inspire young people to make their own stuff. So we're trying to grow the talent here, right here in Louisiana. My website is www.citedesart.org. That's spelled C-I-T-E-D-E-S-A-R-T-S dot O-R-G. Or you can always call me, 337-291-1122. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions, and I love meeting people. You can stop by. We're at 109 Vine Street, just off of Jefferson downtown. <laughs>